Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. My store and closet name is El Ducho, E-L-D-U-C-H-O, and you can find me on Instagram as El Ducho Thrift. I've recently started two new projects. One is another YouTube channel and it's called Denali Does Stuff. So if you're interested in learning more about my non-reselling life, you can check that out. I will put a link in the description down below. And additionally, I recently started a podcast. It's called Flip the Script and it's all about resellers and their journeys. Again, I will put a link down below. If you're not subscribed to my channel and you'd like to be, hit the subscribe button down below. And if you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up on your way out. Whew, I got all that done. <laughs> I've got a Goodwill outlet haul. I'm trying to remember how much I got. I think I got 50 pounds. Yeah, I know I did because I was nine pounds away from hitting 50 and the guy was like, go back in and get more stuff because it would have been cheaper. If I had just paid for 41 pounds at my Goodwill, Goodwill outlet, then it would have cost me like $70, but getting nine more pounds brought me down to like $55. Isn't that insane? Like, yeah. So at my Goodwill outlet, which is pay by the pound, it does get cheaper by the pound. And then I did get some shoes. So I don't pick up shoes all the time some of the times I do. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you some of those as well. So maybe I'll start with the shoes just to get that out of the way. I don't know that I got anything. Oh, I got one cool, like really awesome pair, like expensive pair. I love all the shoes that I got. I've just met like, I don't have like tons of high-end shoes necessarily. Okay, first uh, pair that I got. These all have not been cleaned, so they look very rough at this point. But these are a pair of camper heels, slingbacks Mary Jane style it's like all the keywords in one um the back is like a wooden heel this is kind of cool they are a size what size are you oh they're a 38 I think that's like what probably a eight or a seven and a half maybe they're actually in really good condition the bottoms just need to be clean it's like somebody walked through the grass with them I do have two <laughs> that's just one of them okay this is I'm just gonna pull out the single shoe I could show you both, but I think you'll get the idea. These are a pair of Bally ankle boots. How awesome are these? So this is a nice brand. I looked up comps on these and I probably should get, I no, I don't even remember. I was gonna say like around 60, but I, I need to double check that. Anyways, they're in great condition. I need to clean the bottom, right? But the tread has not been worn down that much. Like who wears these this little and then gets rid of them? Uh, let's see, what size are they? They are size six, so that is a smaller size. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long to sell those. Next, I found a pair of kids native boots. I was like, these are native, right? So I always pick up native if I see them at the bins. Generally they have um, like a defining feature like that where it'll say native. These are, I can't tell if they're black or blue. They're in fairly good condition. What's cool about natives is that they're is they're really lightweight, similar to a croc, but I think a little bit more stylish. And these are a really nice rain boot for a young young child, <laughs> young children. Okay, next, maybe I'll show you both of these because they're so adorable. I died when I saw them. <laughs> they are mini Melissa's and oh, they're Mickey and Minnie. I thought they were just like one or the other. My dog thinks I just said her name because it rhymes with Minnie but starts with a W. I don't want to say it because then she'll look again. Okay, but anyways, look, oh, I love them. You know, and what's great sometimes about kids' shoes is that there's not a ton of wear because, you know, when they're this little, they're probably barely walking, to be honest. These are a size US six, like toddler six. That's a real small six. Okay, I actually found another pair of Melissa's as well. If I can get them out they're still rubber banded together and they are a pale pink like a blush pink these are super cute it's kind of getting washed out with the light but I wish these fit me these are super cute with the pointed toe I need to clean off the whatever this is plasticky part here these are a size uh, 37 euro so like European. So what is that? Again, like a seven maybe? So yeah, I was excited about those. Let's see what else did I get. You know, it is fall 2019. 
so it's boot season so when I saw these I had to have them they're so cute these are a pair of Sam Edelman I think yes Sam Edelman riding style boots they zip up here it's a faux leather but look at this it's got all these star prints on here which I thought was really cool there is a little bit of breakage uh, on the toe there which I actually didn't notice till now but that's not a big deal what size are you these are a five again a very small size so hopefully that doesn't take me too long to sell uh, what are these these were cool look at those a little ankle booty these are Tom's and they are a size something they're a size nine I'm reading it upside down but it's a nine yeah these are in pretty good condition you know somewhere there but nothing you know it's not like it went all the way through which sometimes you see that the wood paneling on the back is a little bit chipped up but I think that'll be okay and then of course I found my favorite pair of shoes to find bogs I love finding these I'm like what size are these these are a US one okay good because I was like if these are my son's size I'm gonna be pissed because I just bought a pair of these I didn't realize how expensive these boots are they are 70 plus dollars because I just bought a pair new for my son. I would have just thrifted a pair, but I obviously need his size. I don't have any of his size. These go really quick for me once I list them, especially around this time of the year. I easily get anywhere from 25 to 35, depending on condition, and they vary. So this one is good in negative 30 Fahrenheit temperature. So they will vary. Some are like negative five. Some are just like four degrees Fahrenheit so check I mean I, I wouldn't discriminate I would buy all types of box boots but yeah just so you know that there is variations of them that's my shoe haul let's do the clothes okay this is a men's prana button-down shirt it's kind of a heavier like almost like a fleecy material it's a size large excited for that especially this time of the year where do I want to put this stuff because the minute I finish this haul, the reason I'm doing this haul is so I can inventory all of this and get moving on my next one. So I went to the bins yesterday, I don't know what day I went, yesterday? Yeah. And then I went today again. <laughs> so I'm processing things really quickly. You're not going to see everything I picked up here because I have been filling, uh, fulfilling mystery box orders. So I do like reseller boxes, I mean re mystery boxes, call them whatever you want. Um, and I sell them out of my Poshmark closet. I do have an active listing, which I will put in the description down below. Uh, you're not getting old inventory of mine. I am literally filling them on demand. I'm going to the bins and I'm picking fresh items for you. So if that's something you're interested in, check out the details on that. Okay, anyways, this is a Disneyland size extra large coat. I like picking up this sort of stuff because people like having it for the park before they go. Uh, because you can get it cheaper on eBay or Boshmark than you would in the park. Okay, this, I cannot remember the comps, but I remember they were like good enough for me to pick up, which I usually define as like $30 or more, but the brand is called True Grit. It's a size three, so I'm not sure what that means. And yeah, I don't know. It's this kind of Southwestern vest, whatever. <laughs> oh, what fell? Oh, that's a good one. I will pick it up. <laughs> Okay, this is an awesome vintage dress. The brand is called Marine West. It's a size large, and it's this really cute floral dress. I'm not going to probably do it justice holding it up, and it's a mini. It's super cute. Buttons down in the front, and then it's got this, like, cut open cutout on the back. This paired with, like, some combat boots. I like it. Okay, this is bummed because it doesn't have the belt. I'll just price it to sell or price it accordingly. It is Millie uh, of New York. It's a size 10 and it's this beautiful navy blue. It's kind of hard to see and it's washing me out. See, there's the missing belt. Um, but it's got this metallic knit in here and some Millie pieces can go for a bit of money. I don't have a number to tell you offhand. <laughs> this is a free people size large top, which I considered keeping for myself. And it's almost like a, is that Swiss dot print? kind of has these like boho peasant sleeves yeah super cute if you guys are interested in purchasing anything from any of my hauls check out my stores closets otherwise email me directly 
Okay, next is this Lululemon hoodie. I have no idea what the size is on this. It's gray. I'm kind of tempted to keep it for me, but I don't think I will. I don't even know if it's a men's or a women's. I checked the pockets. I didn't see a size dot. I'll check again, not right now, but anyways, it's just a gray Lululemon hoodie. I have been finding so many Lululemon hoodies recently and I'm not complaining. It just is kind of odd that I have. Okay, this I actually grabbed because when I had to go grab nine more pounds of stuff, Ironically, I found, well, this not necessarily interesting, but I did find some actually good stuff. So like that free people top, that's something when I had to go back in, I found some great items. So it kind of was a blessing in disguise to have to go back in. But anyways, this was one of them. Uh, and I just grabbed this because I needed something. It's a men's Nike golf, University of Washington polo shirt. You know, if I get 10 or 15 bucks, I'll be happy. This was one of the items again that I got when I went back in thank you it's a barefoot dreams cardigan and it's a small medium it's kind of like a, a dusty pink like a blush yeah I have one of these they're super comfy so anyways there's that this is kind of stained and in hindsight I don't know if I would have picked it up but that's okay it's Nike ACG and this is like a certain like specific line I do have another one of these jackets maybe priced a little too high but anyways the comps on these pieces are usually pretty high but anyways this one's kind of busted here at the bottom there's just like staining so I'll see what I can get for it I think like it's like a streetwear thing that people wear I don't know this is a Robert Graham men's shirt a 2xl very exciting to find this one because this is like definitely a more gaudy piece of theirs which I feel like the gaudy are the pieces of Robert Graham, the better they do. This is an 11 C's blazer. It's a size zero. It's wool. It's blue. It's cute. 11 C's. That's what the tag looks like. And it's sold at Anthro. Okay. This is a North Face Denali <laughs> jacket. So that's the style of these jackets. If you've ever seen them, it is my namesake namesake. And now, uh, every time you see them, you will think of this. Uh, I was not named after the car. I am older than the car. I was named after a mountain in Alaska. You may know it as Mount McKinley. However, it was originally called Denali by the natives. So there's your fun factoid of the day. By the way, the North Face jacket is a women's medium. <laughs> okay, this actually I got a few hauls back and I just washed and I threw it in here because I hadn't talked about it yet. But um, this was a day when I went to the bins with a couple of friends and my friend Caitlin found this jacket. She didn't want to get it because there was a stain on it. I wanted to get it because it was a new to me brand and I looked up the comps and they were good. It's called One Madison. I wasn't familiar with it. Have you ever heard of it? Anyways, there was a small stain somewhere on one of these panels here. I washed it. It's gone now. So the comps on these jackets was pretty good. Like I want to say 50 to 60 bucks. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Again, that one's a small. That's my sports bra. Um... What do I got next? Okay, next is this pair of Lafayette 148 jeans. These are a size four and they're in really good condition. Like they kind of don't look like they've ever been worn <laughs> or I mean, definitely have never been washed. But anyways, yeah, there's those. This is a pair of soft surrounding capris and they are a size petite medium and they're floral they're super cute what's interesting is there's this weird panel on the inside can you see this mm. just this weird i don't know do you know what that is i have no idea <laughs> okay these are a pair of blank nyc are they faux or real leather no they're not real leather <clears throat> faux leather little shorts here they are they're kind of cute looking not for this time of the year, but it's warm somewhere. This is a Brooks extra small running yoga shorts, whatever. Brooks is a um, athletic company based out of Seattle. I say that I think in every single one of my videos. These are, this is a pair of Lululemon pants or, you know, leggings. I don't know what the style is. It has this like little fold over skirt here. I believe these are a size four. If I remember correctly from photographing them, they have these ruching on the back of the ankle real fun love those this is a spanx spanx you know it's just like a shapewear piece uh size large 
yeah, I pick these up when I see them because Spanx are expensive and people will buy them used. I don't know if I showed this in a different haul and I remember nothing about this at this point. This is from a while ago and I just recently like washed it and photographed it now. But anyways, the brand is called Taylor Stitch. It's a size medium and their leggings, they've got a cell phone pocket there. I cannot remember anything. By the time this video is published, I will know something about them, but feel free to drop something in the comments if you know anything about that brand to help educate others. Okay, this is a vintage Pendleton skirt. It's kind of hard to see that tag. Just trust me. It says size 14, and that's a real small 14. Unfortunately, there are some moth holes in it, so I'm gonna sell it, and maybe somebody will want it for the fabric. Bummer. All right, this is a Hannah Anderson uh, leggings. These are a size US 12. There's a little bit of fading here on the booty, but I still thought they were cute, and they're, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have bought them. I'll get my money back. <laughs> this is a vintage, like, shrug. It's like a cream color with this metallic gold knit. It's kind of hard to see. I'm curious if it went to a dress that I didn't find in the bin. It says size 10. So anyways, real cute. This is the brand Nostalgia. I picked these up if the pieces are cute. And I liked this one, so there's the tag. It's a size medium. I, I don't know, I just thought this one was cool. It's like long sleeve, and then this part kind of opens up, and underneath it's got this, the rest of the dress. It's a maxi dress. It's real busy. I thought it was cute. <laughs> Here's another vintage dress. Uh, this one probably is supposed to have a liner with it, but I didn't find it, so somebody else can figure out the liner situation, but here it is. Super long. Just a black dress. Real cute. Okay, another vintage piece that there's no information on this. I do believe that this is real fur. Don't kill me. <laughs> Don't kill me over it. I didn't, I didn't hurt the animal. It feels like rabbit fur, if I'm correct. Um... Yeah, it's a super cute jacket. I love it. It's lined. It's in really great condition. Don't know the size if I had to guess. It's small, medium. Okay, this is a pair of Pilcro and the letterpress, which is sold at Anthropology. They're the Serif. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Size 31. Turquoise, corduroy pants, but look at that. There's like a little stain there. So I'll just disclose that. I think this was something I had to grab to make weight otherwise I wouldn't necessarily have grabbed these I like picking up American Eagle jeans but I wouldn't have picked up these these are men's but now that I have them I'll sell them they're men's 2832 so again a very narrow waist let's just hope I get 10 to 15 dollars back these I probably shouldn't have picked up I just needed to look at them better to see that they had some fraying in them or on them. They're a size 27, seven for all mankind, like boot cut, but there is some fraying at the bottom there. So again, I'm going to have to take less because of that, which sucks. This is a pair of Torrid size 24 acid wash blue shorts. Not the season, but you know, maybe somebody's going to go to Hawaii for Christmas. And if they do, now I have their shorts. All right, these, I think I photographed these, are a pair of Carhartt work pants, and they are a size 34-34. They're in pretty good condition. There's a little bit of staining there, but I think whoever buys them, is, it's not going to matter. It's work pants. This I have not photographed yet, so i got to put this in another pile, but this is a Harley Davidson workwear shirt, and it's specific to Seattle. I did look up comps on workwear shirts and sorry I'm dipping out of frame and the comps were pretty good on the workwear shirts so maybe buy it okay this I did photograph oh gosh now it's inside out <laughs> this is a uh, Diane von Furstenberg just not to keep you waiting too long on that size zero dress yeah little dress with a cinched waist there not sure if this is silk, but it feels like silk. Um, I mean, obviously Diane von Furstenberg, what sells really well is the, her silk pieces. I don't know. I, I mean, not silk pieces, her wrap dresses. I'm pretty sure that's silk. 
Okay, this I bought because I've just been buying a lot of ski suits and they've been selling really well, but the brand on this is Jerry. It was a little hard to find exact comps on this, so I'm taking a little bit of a gamble buying that. It's a size medium, ski bib. I don't know, we'll see how it works out. This is a mini Bowden kids shirt, size 11, 12. Super cute. I love mini Bowden. Oh, this I need to wash, because there's a stain on it. <laughs> okay, I just thought this was cool. The brand is called Camp Collection, which I don't think is necessarily anything special. It's a size medium, but uh, if you know what that movie, or what that quote is from, what movie, then you're my age. <laughs> All right, uh, what is this? This is Hannah Anderson, size 150, cute little top. I usually find that when I find a couple, like one or two kids pieces in a bin, if I keep digging, there's more because it's usually like somebody's whole kids collection of clothing. All right, this is a Betsy Johnson evening dress. I've never found this before. It's a size six and these can go for quite a bit of money. However, womp womp, mine has a flaw. So I didn't realize this till, no, I did realize it when I was there and I thought I could fix it. <laughs> so I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do here. But this came off. So, mm -hmm, yeah, for somebody who doesn't like putting work into their items, maybe it wasn't the best purchase, but you know, I love a challenge. We'll see what I can do with it. You're probably gonna suggest that I sew it. That's a thought I had as well. I'll either do that or I'll just price it to sell. But anyways, that's my haul, you guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I entertained you for the last 20 odd minutes. And if I did, give me a thumbs up on your way out. I'll talk to you later, bye.